Well, tonight, the Prince George's County Sheriff's Office is trying to piece together the chain of events leading up to a deadly shooting by one of its deputies. It happened late last night along Nally Road in Landover. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell has the latest on the investigation. Yeah, Allison, it happened at about 10 o'clock, and the chase went right in here into this elementary school parking lot. That's where the shooting was, just about a mile from FedEx Field. And tonight, two Prince George's County Sheriff's deputies are on administrative leave while the Prince George's County Police investigate and while a mother mourns the loss of her son. Just hours after being told that Sheriff's deputies shot and killed her son, Lionel, Brenda Young sits on her couch sobbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't nobody tell me why they shot me. Brenda knows her 35-year-old son and his girlfriend were having an argument last night. She knows the sheriff's office got involved after the woman called 911. But she has no idea how he ended up being shot dead in the parking lot of this school near FedEx Field. He wasn't that a violent person. An official with the sheriff's department paints a different picture. This is a violent confrontation by a lawless individual. Sheriff's Inspector General Mark Spencer says a pair of deputies engaged Young after that woman called 911 saying her life was in danger, that Young was threatening her with knives. There was a pursuit in and out of the district and then into this school parking lot. Rammed his vehicle a number of times into uh, the deputies' cars. The deputies discharged their weapons uh, in order to stop the attacks by Mr. Young. Brenda Young says she has no idea what to believe. All she knows is she lost her son on Mother's Day. I would like for you to tell me, why did you kill my son? Well, the deputies have not yet been named. We have been told that both of them are veterans of the force, and they have been in the sheriff's department for five years and six years. In Landover, Brad Bell, ABC7 News.